me and the missus. Hi, missus. Uh, we're out here putting up a fence. This is going to be a hard fence. It's not an electric wire fence. And uh, we're going to have double tension wire fence on it. One at the top, one at the bottom. Because we got woven fence. And you can just push on it. Then it just, you know, flattens. So what we're going to do is we're going to put double tension wire on here. That's what this little tool is doing. It's holding the tension on that wire. I'm going to cut it off back here. Wrap it around this T-post up here. And pull the strap off of it. Right now, it's tension. You can almost play the guitar on it now. That's what we want. Nice tight tension wire. Uh, we're gonna try out a couple tools I've not used before. One is oh this fence clip tool. No moving parts. I've seen fence clip tools over there at Tractor Supply. It has a wiggly thing on it. I have no clue how that one works. But um, I haven't used them before. And a brand new toy for me. Yeah, it's it's hog wing. It's a hog ring thing. Stapler. Yeah. Works like a stapler. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take the fence, we're gonna put tension on the fence. After we get the tension wire up here, we're gonna use uh, clips, fence clips, these little buggers here. We're gonna use them to clip the tension wire to the to the post where we want it. Like I said, after I released the tension on it down here. And uh, then we're going to put the that on there. And then we'll tension the fence. And we're going to clip a uh, hog wire, hog tie the uh, fence to the tension wire. And use fence clips to attach the fence to the T-post. So we should have a good, strong fence. And then uh, I'll put... A, yeah. Hog clips. We're going to hog tie it with hog wire clips. Or hog clips. What the hell are they call them? They're called <laughs> hog rings. That's what they're called. I've never seen them in a box. I've never seen this tool before. This is brand new for me. Uh, so that's what we got going on. All right. So this is the very first clip we put on using the tool. I'm going to put another clip on up here, which has got to be at 40. So the wire is 47, so we're going to make the, the top wire at 47, which is up here. I don't know if it's going to weak. It's kind of hard, but then put the clip around like this and grab it with the tool like this. I believe I'm doing this right. Grab it with a tool like that, flip it around like that, and then just wrap it around that dang wire like that. Yeah, I don't know about that wiggly tool, but this tool works pretty good. Yeah, I like this tool. Like 10 bucks or so at MFA. Well, folks, behind me is a start on the fence, but it's not done, but uh, it's getting there. It's got two tension wires on it, four feet of uh, field fence. <laughs> it's used. It missed it by a little bit. So we'll have to fill it in. We got some more field fence. But we'll fill it in. And uh, let me walk you down through here. I don't know if you'll actually see it or not, but. I'll walk you down through here. I'll try to get you to where you can see it. Okay. But, like I said, I put a tension wire at the bottom. Another one at the top. Um, probably got it too tight. You can almost play guitar on that. Um, what I'll be doing is coming in tomorrow, putting some more uh, ties on the fence. Put more of these on there. Uh and I'll put hog rings on there. That one didn't work like I wanted it to. But I'll put hog rings on there. Uh, and like I said, it's used fence. Down here was a was a break in it. Uh, when the people were that we bought it from, and I just pieced it back together. Uh, they had it wrapped on a post or something. I pieced it back together. Like I said, I'll tie it to the T-post with T-post clips. 
like that right there. That's I don't know if you see that. But uh, I'll tie the fence to the post and I'll tie the use hog clips to tie it to the fence to the tension wires. That should keep anything from coming under the fence and that should keep anything from going over the fence. Pushing the fence down. I don't think it's going to get pushed down. I think it's good. Uh, I've only helped people with fences. This is my very first fence of my own. Uh, we use these uh, wedge lock, this wedge lock system on the on the bracing. That's a dang clever system. But um, we did that, and down here at this end, there's a. I'm going to put a six foot gate in here, and uh, I'll have to come in here and put a post over here. And this is our leftover electric wire. But we'll put a uh, fence here, and eventually, what I'll do is we'll build a, a cover, like a carport or whatever, to straddle this fence, and then we can put the cows on here, and then we'll move them. We can move them to the other side, and they'll still have shelter. Uh, we'll put a, a a water trough on either side, and yeah, I'm tired. But we're gonna get this done, and then tomorrow we'll put some electric fence up, and uh, get ready to bring the cow over here so she has some space, because right now she doesn't have no space. It was supposed to be a, you know, a single day kind of deal, and well, that just doesn't work for me. But over here in this spot. We're gonna uh we're gonna put a panel up here, a sixteen foot panel crossed here. And eventually we'll take those posts out, take that post out, take that post out down there, and this, and then I'll uh, put rails. I'll put rails up against the fence the uh, barn. I'll put a rail up there and I'll put electric wire against the barn. That'll keep the cows and whatever out of the barn from tearing the barn down. So yeah, we're making progress on the old homestead thing.